in this video i'm going to show you power, power pages analytics okay now i'm in the power platform admin center now on, under analytics if you see you will see dataverse analytics you will see power automate analytics and you will see power apps analytics and something about data export as well but power pages analytics is missing okay so in order to find power pages analytics what you need to do is like you need to go into under resources and click on power pages site now this has got a new interface now here you will be able to see analytics related to power pages now this table itself is one of the analytics i'll say now if you see the block over here it indicates that in your tenant there are four sites one is a public site one is a trial site okay and maybe a couple of sites are expired okay so production site is zero suspended site is zero now as you see over here there are four sites now only two of them are active okay and a couple of them are you know they are uh, in a suspended state okay now here if you see there is a security tab so if you click on it it will show you the analytics of power pages now here if you see that it says for one of your site anonymous access is enabled okay so if you click on details then you can navigate to see which sites anonymous access is enabled uh, zero site has web application firewall disabled okay so WAF disabled is for zero sites okay and one site has external authentication enabled so this styles basically give you a basic information about the authentication configuration parameters uh, en uh, enabled for your site now if you see the site security health it says four sites standard enhanced advanced no result now see this is nowhere related to standard model or enhanced model within your power page site this terminology means something else zero sites with a standard thing means your site has less than uh, 33 percent now if if i show you the microsoft documentation here now it says this state standard means less than 33 percent of the security checks for the website are in past state okay so for me it's zero then if you go in enhance it says means more than 33 percent of the security checks for this website are in past state okay so security checks more than 33 percent is enhanced and more than 66 percent is advanced okay so you should always try to attain this okay more than 66 percent of the security checks are in a past state now and uh, for two sites there is no result now what is a uh, security check basically if you see here now if i go into this site say giri customer service okay uh, here the status is enhanced so if i click on details view then it will take you to the power platform site for us uh, and it will open the site checker history and it will give you the site checker stats uh, basically how things are you know moving within your site so if you see over here like majority of them are passed but a couple of uh, results are coming as warning okay so that's not passed so that's why for this site it is showing me the status as you know uh, enhanced okay uh, so then i can go ahead and go into the site checker and then start resolving this issue by uh, uh, following the articles over here okay and then i can make my site you know like fully uh, to an advanced state okay so that's about site security health authentication provider this section will show you that four of my sites use azure ad one site use local authentication okay and then if i want to review it then again i can click on it and then it will uh, allow me to change the authentication providers for that particular site going back to analytics preview here we will be seeing some in uh, interesting insights okay now for my default environment i don't have any specific site so let me go into say Keresh uit environment now here uh, if you see the usage data uh, this is basically a power bi embedded within this power platform admin center canvas now here under site id I will be able to see the site id okay now it would have been good if this was listed as a site name rather than a site id but anyways uh, this is like one of the feedback which would i'd like to give to microsoft uh second thing if you see the tile over here it says all users and mau wau dau what does this mean is if you see over here it says monthly active users weekly active users daily active users now 
if you see all the users like from september 28 to october 4th now there was like a spike you know on october 4th so i had like four to five users uh, which have been logged into the site okay so that's active users then I have an authenticated user tile as well as an anonymous user access as well. So here we can see uh, how many anonymous users have accessed your website in the last, say, one month or 28 days. Okay. So here you can change the environment if you want, and then the visual will change accordingly. Uh, on this, uh, uh, like a column chart, if you see here, uh, it will show you month over month uh, active users all users authenticated users so on 20 23 september there was one 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 uh, all user and one authenticated user and on october 2023 it was five users so it gives you uh, uh, some sort of an insight it is not that much comprehensive i'd say but still uh, it's better than nothing so you have uh, access to the security insight as well as an analytics insight for power pages site so that's it, folks. This is all about uh, viewing your analytics for the PowerPages site within your tenant. Thanks for watching.